Back to my channel so we're gonna hop right into the video this hair that i received is from wiggins hair this is their 13 by 4 24 inch loose deep wave wig um it is hd as you can see like y'all when i tell you this is the best hd lace that i ever received the lace was so thin it melted so perfectly really i did already customize the wig i bleached the knots and the knots were so easy to bleach because they were really small and i plucked the wig so right here we're just going to go ahead and apply the wig y'all already know i'm using my hair by erica j glue i think i just used two layers on this one because i wasn't keeping this wig on for too long but guys really wiggins really did a big one with this wig like this is probably my favorite wig that i've applied thus far Like, I really need y'all to pay attention. Like, what freaking lace? I didn't even cut the lace off right here, and it already was just melting in my skin. But, of course, I'm going to go ahead and take my um, elastic band to give it a further melt. I left that on for 10 minutes. Now, we're going to sit here and cut the lace off with the razor. Y'all already know the deal. So, I'm pretty not gonna, I'm not going to really talk too much throughout this process until it comes time to style the hair but look how freaking big and luscious this hair is like i said i got a 200 density and baby when you can tell it's thick thick like this hair is really thick but it was so beautiful it was easy to brush out and i was just feeling myself like i love big hair it was just giving me that vibe that diana ross vibe i don't know but <laughs> it was cute but now I'm going to go ahead and do my zigzag part. And to make it a little easier, I did do a middle part first and then kind of like, I don't know. I, I don't know how to explain it, but y'all can see it. But then you're going to, of course, need your um, hot comb just so you can have your part nice and sleek and flat. Um, so that's what I'm doing here. I'm using my wax stick and just pressing out every part that I'm um, doing. So I already took out the hair that I wanted for the baby hairs and to like lay them flat I always go in with my ebb and spray the black one and I like spray it on the hairline and put my elastic band on and I just find that this lays the baby hairs flat and I always brush them in like the direction I want them to be in and it also like helps my wigs they don't last longer when i spray the ebb and spray but now we're gonna go ahead and do our ponytails and the ponytail was kind of easy to do because i had the baby hairs out the way i also had the other hair out the way so that's a nice tip to um have when you're doing ponytails because i know ponytails can really stress you out and of course i did two of them and they just look so cute i was really feeling this style like it brought me back to like my childhood because i used to stay with up two ponytails like that was my thing but now we're gonna go ahead and take the razor and cut the baby hairs and i'm Y'all already know, I've been trying to find the perfect product to lay my baby hairs. Let me know in the comments below, like, any products that I should try out, any products that work for you guys. But I found this Ebon, like, gel. But when I tell y'all, it was so sticky. 
Like, it was literally so sticky. It was hard to maneuver. Like, look at that. Like, it was so sticky. It was so hard to use. But I ended up using my um, Got To Be Black um, gel. Well, the gel that comes in, like, the black bottle. I ended up using that and then using the sticky um, Ebon gel over top just to, like, seal them in. But I don't know. I'm still trying to find the perfect product, y'all. But here, I'm just wetting the hair down a little bit. I didn't want it too, like, wet look. But I did want it to bring the curls back. And as you can see, the hair curls down to the ends. And that's what we like. We need that. We love that. So, yeah, I'm just brushing the water through a little bit. But like I said, I didn't want it the wet look. So, it's still going to be, like, kind of bushy. Just wet it a little bit. And, y'all, this is pretty much the finished look. I love this hair. As y'all can see, it's really melted into my skin. Like, you wouldn't even know that this was a wig, really. And I wanted to try um, the two buns as well. Because I'm like, let me just switch it up. Try two different styles, give y'all variety so you can wear it in two ponytails or you can turn the ponytails into buns. And it's still giving. I did a poll on my Instagram and everyone said they like the buns better, but I think I like the ponytails better. Let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Thank you all for watching this video. I love you all like always, and I see you in the next one. Bye.